Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pankaj and today we have Atifa Azari with us who is about to graduate with the Masters of Engineering Management course. Welcome Atifa. Thank you. Uh, so we'll, in this video, we'll discuss about Atifa's graduation, we'll discuss about part-time jobs, full-time job. Uh, as a couple, how did she manage here in uh, Ottawa? How was it for her to travel from all the way from her country to University of Ottawa? What were the cultural difference? What were the expectations? And much more. We'll have everything in detail. <laughs> so again, welcome, Atifa. Thank uh, you so fine. first, to start with, could you please introduce yourself? Yeah. To first of all, thanks for having me, and I'm so glad to have this interview with you on your YouTube channel. So as he said, my name is Atifa Azhari. So I'm from Iran, and uh, I'm studying engineering management here and it's my last semester here I'm about to graduate like within three weeks okay. hopefully <laughs> <laughs> so uh next uh what was your background like how did you what was your uh, bachelor's of engineering in um did you have any job experience before so if it was so what was that if you can uh, elaborate okay. back home i received my bachelor and master degree and uh, in the field of industrial engineering mm -hmm. and uh, during my studies and after graduation I, I worked for several companies as a researcher, project coordinator and project engineer okay. and then I decided to pursue my second master in the mm -hmm. field of engineering management at the University of Ottawa to mm -hmm. bridge the gap between my technical skill and my managerial skill. Okay. Yeah. So you had experience, as you mentioned. So was this experience actually uh, countered uh, to the acceptance at University of Ottawa? Because what were the different criteria that the University of Ottawa wants to have, uh, like a student should have, in order to get an acceptance for a Masters of Engineering Management? Okay, this major actually needs. Uh, it is advised that. Uh, you you should have actually you should have it's yeah. better to say that you should have like um, a few years of experience in engineering field okay. or another like related field yeah. and uh, I know that the English proficiency for this major like the IELTS should be the minimum the minimum of uh, six point five mm -hmm. and the GPA of B. Okay. So these are minimum requirements. Mm -hmm. For sure, you should be like higher because this major is like competitive, really competitive. Got yeah. it. So as Atifa mentioned, the CGPA uh, should be B. That means it should be around seven or seven point five and above, and IELTS score of around six point five. But of course, the cutoff is increasing. So please have it around seven and above. Exactly. That's act actually required. And an experience back home or anywhere would actually improve uh, your acceptance rate. The next thing. What all uh, different courses did you take and how easy or difficult was this course? Um, so here in this major, we choose our courses based on the career path we want to follow in the future mm -hmm. and the experience we had like before. Okay. So for me, it was like more the management thing. Mm -hmm. So I took the course like um, management skill, project management and the course like business and communication influence for engineers mm -hmm. uh, because that course is very like beneficial for my career path mm -hmm. but there are many optional courses that you can get mm -hmm. and it really depends on uh, the way the path that you want to follow so yeah so as Atefa mentioned so make sure that uh, you choose the courses uh, that will actually lead to your career path so don't choose some random courses just in order to complete the uh, degree, but choose the course that will actually help you in order to uh, you know, uh, su succeed in your career. So next question, Atefa, was there any co-op opportunity or internship opportunity available in this course? So for the engineering management currently, uh, there is no official like co-op okay. here uh, in the sense that uh, the university don't allow you to go to the pool and companies come and pick you. Mm -hmm. So it's not like that for us, but we are allowed to do co-op internship. Okay. So the thing is that you have to go and search it by yourself. Mm -hmm. You get the offer and then uh, you send it 
to the university and they do the paperwork for you, they will support you, but okay. they don't provide you with that pool. So okay, so uh, as you mentioned that the co-op is not a part of your course or the program, but during your summer term, when you have a break, if you get a co-op or an internship opportunity, you can definitely work uh, in that company. So uh, to add on to this, uh, how easy uh, are the professors like, uh, you know, in terms of grading, because at the end of the day, uh, the grades are that is actually important. And of course, the learnings that you take from the course, but, you know, some courses is it's difficult to uh, get good grades, but how easy or difficult is uh, this subject and whether a student can get a grade of you know about eight for example so the thing is that uh, most of the course needs live participation mm -hmm. and work uh, in a group so you should be able to handle the group works team works and uh, be active in that okay um, so i don't say it's like easy but it's not impossible to get like a a plus mm -hmm. in this course it's you you can you can do that you yeah. can do that okay so scoring also is easy uh in this programming of course engineering management course uh the next question would be what is the total university fees that you paid uh throughout like because you're about to graduate in next two or three weeks so you have already paid the university fees right so what is the total amount of university fees that you paid mm -hmm. so as you know and they may know uh university of ottawa just changed the way they are doing the tuition fees yeah. so now it's like unit based not term based okay. uh, so um with the 30 credit it will cost you around forty thousand okay. dollar um with like dental and insurance and like all the sides fee <laughs> so okay. you have to include that as well okay so uh the university of ottawa has uh you know uh, made uh, that the fees is per unit per unit in the sense like per credit basically every master's is divided into certain credits so masters of engineering management as atefa mentioned is 30 credits so each credit has some amount of dollars so it will be multiplied into 30 so the total amount comes up to forty thousand dollars which includes your insurance dental insurance health insurance bus pass and everything else <laughs> Uh, Adefa, first of all, congratulations to you to get a teaching assistant job because it's very difficult uh, for an engineering management student to get an yes. EA. It's very difficult. How did you manage to get one? Uh, so, uh, first, I want to start with the document they want. You should just um, submit your resume and submit your uh, transcript as well, and they will decide. On, based on your grades and your resume and your experience in that field yes. and you may get some interviews for example for the course engineering design that I'm mm -hmm. I'm TA like for two semesters now yeah. uh, I've had I attended I guess three days of workshop and I had like two interviews for that and then you will get there but for engineering management students it really depends on your education before the skills you have for the engineering courses to be a TA. Got it. So Atefa was a TA for two semesters. Uh, that's a great, great, great thing uh, for any engineering management student because it's very difficult for an engineering management student to get a TA. It's not impossible, but it's difficult. Uh, next thing, Atefa. So how did you manage your studies and part time? Because of course you worked two three terms maybe as part-time and then yes. two terms you got a teaching assistant yeah. so how did you manage your studies and part-time then uh, it, it i don't say it's easy it's not mm -hmm. but if you keep up with the pace of assignments deliverables quizzes and all the course materials from the beginning of the semester and be involved in that uh, it's not impossible you can work like now you can work even more than 20 hours. Students are doing that. Uh, it may affect their grades, but they're doing that. Yeah. And it's not impossible, yeah. but you should be involved uh, studying for the whole semester. You cannot just study like at the end. Yes. It's, not, it's not possible. Okay. So it, it is possible, uh, as she mentioned, that you can do your part-time and study work 
but of course your focus should be on study because at the end of the day that will give you fruit of mm -hmm. course for survival uh, even she did part time she was able to cope up but as she mentioned from the beginning itself keep yourself focused and keep yourself uh, you know uh, in the same pace as the professor space uh, because at the end it becomes difficult if you don't know the basics uh atifa to add on so you have come here with your husband so how did you manage first of all uh you know to manage family uh with studies with part time so if you <laughs> can give some experience of yours yeah actually being uh canada is like making everything easy for couples because with you having study permit your partner can have open work permit um so he can work or they can work like for full time mm -hmm. and it will cover your rent and your basic needs almost um so it's not that hard um and it really makes it easier to do so and you are doing your part time and now you can just under some circumstances students can now work full time yeah. so both full time and you being a student it's not that hard okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah as you mentioned that you can work full time that is from 2022 uh, october the government of canada uh, due to the shortage of workers in and around canada uh, they had suggested that the students can work full time that is full 40 hours with their studies of course there is a limit that this is only until 2023 or 2024 i'm not exactly sure please do check that so with the, with this uh, rule you can work for 40 hours with your studies um so there's no objection that you can work only 20 hours like for an international student and to add to that your your study permit should be issued on before a specific time so you might check that as well yeah yeah so keep keep a look on all the rules and regulations because at the end of the day you should not you know fall into uh, uh that uh, group wherein uh, you were not supposed to actually work so make yeah. yourself you have that information uh so atifa uh Uh, what is the job opportunity in canada for a masters of engineering management student so as i mentioned before when you just enroll in this major you you might have like previous job experiences so it for sure it's hard to get higher in a manager your role as a first job here yeah. so they won't do that but um You can work as a coordinator here. You can work like uh, based on your previous background here. Um, if you choose your courses like wisely, mm -hmm. you can uh, make your path and follow that path. So got it. So what all websites did you apply? Uh, you know, for full time job and. uh you know how easy or difficult of course the career path is an option of course you need to choose your career path but was it difficult for you uh you know to get into a job or you know like how easy it is so it's no piece of cake for sure uh the thing is that you don't have to give up yeah. like you should uh you should just apply for as many as uh, as many job as you can yep. and just send your resume through linkedin through indeed um university of ottawa provide us with good really good job fairs mm -hmm. just please before that check the companies that don't waste your time that are in your area of work and um it's it's not really easy but at the end of the road you just need one job yep. so you will get that perfect so as you mentioned that you will have to apply on linkedin on uh, indeed and there will be various career fairs that will be held at your university as well university of ottawa is one of such universities that uh, you know keeps career fairs for students so that they can make uh, connections make networking with different company professionals so the hrs from different professionals will be there during the career fairs next thing so it would be probably the last question so what is your feedback uh, to the juniors who are planning to do their masters as an international student in canada so the first thing is that be financially ready and manage your know how to manage your finances uh because 
we have seen like many students after the change in tuition fees they face serious issues the first thing is that yeah. the second thing that i recommend is that all of you from the beginning of your journey try to start to work in retails try to have your general jobs just to come to the community just to talk to as many as people you can just uh, to improve your communication skills and retails can be like the best college for doing that and they're paying you so why not <laughs> so i guess that everyone even you have like a, the best job ever the professional one first you come here and english is your second language yeah. so try to do that to talk to many people okay yeah. so as atifa also mentioned uh, hard work is mm -hmm. very important uh, nothing is easy mm -hmm. make yourself uh, prepared to you know uh, adapt this culture in canada make yourself uh, work in some retail store so that you get the communication skill that you want uh, of course focus is one such important aspect you cannot have everything served on your plate of mm -hmm. course you will have to work for it so thank you so much atifa for mm -hmm. such valuable uh, feedback to the students uh, and thank you so much for guiding the students a lot so mm -hmm. If you guys have any questions, please do mention in the comment section. Atifa, yeah, Atifa's LinkedIn profile. Uh, I'll be mentioning the link of her LinkedIn profile on the comment section. So if there's any question on the engineering management course or any such questions on the job uh, that she found, how did she apply to TA uh, with the engineering uh, management background? So you can ask her directly. In case there's any general questions, please mention them in the comment section. Thank you so much, Atifa. No, Thank you so time. much for watching and have a good one. Bye.